Hey everybody, Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do a lead out in an amateur race or in a, in a sprint, in a group ride. We have many sprints along the way in our local group rides, they're kind of like races. So this kind of lead out strategy de definitely works well for both races and group rides. Now why would you want to do a lead out? Number one, it's going to be far safer for you and your teammates. You're going to stay out of trouble, you're going to stay out of that craziness. It's just far safer. Number two, you're pretty much guaranteed to win or at least get top three when you do this well. So let's talk about how do you do a sprint lead out in an effective way. Let's say we have four riders who are willing to work together and do the sprint lead out. Now you can have fun with this. You can rotate who does the final 200 meters. You know, you can, you can alternate, but ideally you want somebody who's going to be a really strong sprinter to do that last bit. So let's say we have four riders. What you're going to do is each rider from starting the lead out is going to pull at a slightly shorter distance compared to the previous rider but at a higher speed. So for example, let's say we take the final one kilometer, one mile of a race or a group ride sprint. The first rider is going to pull for say about 800 meters. It's going to bring the speed up to, to speed. This might be getting to the front and hitting the front, right? So you might hit the front with 1k to go and you have your first rider pulling and then you have three riders behind him. Now the, this rider, the first rider is going to pull for about 500 to 800 meters to get the speed nicely ramped up. The next rider is going to take over for about 500 meters and is going to, is going to really increase the speed as you get closer and closer to the sprint. So the speed's got to be so high at this point that nobody has any inclination to try and move up at this point. That's really the goal of the lead out, that the speed is so, so high that nobody can move up. So that second rider is going to pull to about, say, 300, 350 to 400 meters to go. And at that point, the next rider is going to go, and this is pretty much the sprint, but it's starting at a progressive speed where it's ramping up the speed higher and higher. So let's say it's a strong, strong rider who can go for a long sprint. He starts his sprint at about 350 to go, but with the idea of ramping it up, really ramping up the speed. And then the final sprinter is just waiting, 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 and then it's going to go at about 200 meters to go. And that's going to be the, the lead out. So the real idea here is to, number one, get in position about one or two miles before, so all four of you are in your, in your position. And then number two, bring it up to speed where the speed is ever increasing and is at such a high speed in that last kilometer that nobody in the pack behind you has any inclination whatsoever to try and move up. They're just barely hanging on to the wheels. The faster and the more speed you bring to that lead out, the more you string it out, the, more adva the bigger advantage you give to the people you're leading out because the riders behind, they're, they're, they're already maxed out and they have a very little chance to um, to move up. So the idea is really to ramp up that speed so it's faster, 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 faster for each rider that takes over in the lead out and that the the final rider only has about 200 meters maximum to sprint. Uh, and when you do it right, even the rider leading out the sprinter often is going to get a top three position when you ramp that speed up. But if you want to make this work, you've got to practice it in training then you've got to go over the sprint and you've got to figure out exactly where each person is going to sprint to or pull to, find that landmark, measure it out, and if you do this well, it's going to be super, super easy to win those field sprints and also to win those group ride sprints. It's all about organization, practice, and then implementation. Hope you guys got value from that. Have a great day.